And the beauty of that is, in some ways, we have that blank slate that the dinosaurs left behind when that asteroid hit. You know, so there's this, there's this barren dirt. 97% of the soils that are arable on this planet farmable. 97% of the soils farmable on this planet are depleted or severely depleted. Yeah. And so we have this whole planet that's just starved for life. And that means that in that soil, there lies an estimated 10 to the 31 viruses right now that hold a genetic code for life more biodiverse and more rich than we could imagine. So if we start doing the right thing as a species and we start fostering life and looking for beauty and co-creating with that beauty, instead of believing in the scarcity mentality, we'll find that death does not exist and life only does more life. And it is a perfect, perfect regenerative cycle. And it is truly generative, meaning there's always more at the end of the day, not just the same. It's not sustainable it's regenerative there is a generative force on this planet that is going to leave more intelligence in the end than was there to begin and i'm excited to be reassured by that reality whether we stay or we play almost doesn't matter life will go on in its beauty the expression of light energy will continue and i will continue on the other side of this and i've seen that happen with the rebirth that we call death over and over again as people become new forces of nature <laughs> on the other side of that veil yeah and they come back to tell people, you know, I, I've had so many people with the new de near death experiences and, you know, visits of their relatives in physical body, what we call ghosts or whatever. There's just too many of these stories that come out of your hospice work all the time. There's just miracle after miracle and weird, you know, pseudo natural, you know, kind of experiences or um, all the time. And, and so we have to acknowledge that we're probably a lot more like the tree that falls in the forest. You know, a single oak tree has a very monotonous ge genome, right? Every cell within that tree carries a very small genetic you know, program that makes it an oak tree. When that oak tree falls, quote unquote, dies in the human's view of, of scarcity of life, and if we believe in scarcity of life, we're like, oh, that oak is dead. But if you genetically sequence that oak one year after its death, it has a hundred million different species. I'm sorry, a hundred thousand different species growing in it, and so its energy is transmuted from one small genomic sequence and repetitive thing that created a hundred foot tree to a hundred thousand different species that are now thriving from the same en energy that's now transmuted into a complexity of life and a beauty that could have never been expressed by the single oak. Yeah. And that's, I believe, how I want to die. <laughs> I want to rebirth into a hundred thousand new opportunities for life to express itself through me. Yeah feel like it's it's a, a beautiful way to start at the conversation you're talking about the woman squatting down and you know gathering water and being in the dirt and the soil and being connected with she that. was home she was home yeah and i feel like a lot of the stuff that humans modern humans are attracted to is kind of like shiny things you know and it's like you know it's like you took your wife that's always loved you to vegas and then you found some girl that was hot <laughs> she like pulled you away for a little while but you're like she was your wife loves you like she's there she's the soil you can repair the relationship <laughs> yeah <You know? laughs> yeah if, it, if you can go vertical yeah yeah when we find our relationships on the rocks it's because we've drained each other and it's something that is almost terrifying that i've heard recently from that course of miracles is when we're in a special relationship, we create the special relationship because we see in the other person something that we believe we lack. Hmm. And we'll marry them for that or we'll commit to that special relationship for the opportunity to experience that thing that we think we don't have. And by so doing, we take away the opportunity for source right. to express that thing through us and we rob it from that person that we love. Right. That's fucked up. Wow. And that's what we're all doing to each other. We are robbing each other of the very best of what we have to offer the world because we're trying to access that thing through each other instead of believing that that thing is infinite 